Hello and welcome to another Ninja Bill Reviews and today we're going to be taking a, well actually we'll be taking a look back at a uh, older figure that I got given to me which is Transformers Power Combiners Grimstone and there he is now Grimstone is the name of the the main robot and the power core combiner which is what he is a power core combiner and that's grimstone right there grimshot um can't really remember the name but i believe it's grim grimstone uh, i could be wrong um but there you go um i'll just correct it in the in the uh uh comment section or something i i don't know but um there he is nonetheless and he is um a kind of the first official uh, Dinobot combiner that we got. Now, recently, uh, Hasbro has announced that there is, in fact, going to be a G1, at very G1 looking uh, Combiner Wars type uh, Dinobots with, or Dinobots which combine uh, uh, Grimlock, for example, the main, will be the main unit, the torso, He's Voyager class. The rest of them will be Deluxe class. I would have much preferred a Leader class Grimlock with with Voyager class. Rest of the Dinobots, uh, Swoop, Slag, Slug, whatever you want to call them, uh, Sludge, and uh, the rest, Snarl. But anyway, we're going to be taking a look at him. So as you can see, here he is. He's a uh, quite menacing. He's a, he's an oddball looking one, you know. He's got this big claw instead of hands going on right here, you know. So there's that, and for his hand over here, rather than a hand, he's got his Dinobot jaws. So, and these are just drones. They're not actually, you know, they don't transform into a robot or anything. They're all just drones. So right, we'll quick spin him around here. And take a look at them. So, yeah, they're pretty. They were pretty cool. And I always wanted this set, and I had one once, but it it got lost in the move. And a friend of mine, very recently, just gave me his. And I was like, yay! And he gave me his other power power core combiners. And I was like, yay! And most of them are crap and um, broken. <laughs> And they broke really easily. I, they were made from some really cheap plastic. And even he, uh, he's a better one, but he's still really cheap plastic. And, uh, yeah, so let's see if we can get a little closer look at that head sculpt there. Hold on, there we go. Nice head. On the space. There we go, and yeah, so to take them apart, all you do is you come over here, and my, on mine it's really tough, Ugh. take them off, they just hook up with these pegs, these, uh, these pegs right here, this one came completely undone. Anyway, you use these pegs here, these power core pegs, and they go into these slots right there. And when you plug them in, they activate a spring system in there, and it puts them into their, uh, you know, their arm or leg mode. So, so it is. You push it in, and whoop, just like that, there. Now, yep. So we'll take a look at this one, just hold down the tail, that's it. It's uh, nothing really to write home about. It's got guns everywhere, guns there, there. Some sort of thing going on there, the speed tail. Of course in his transform state he has a gun right there that he can use. 
So, yeah. Anyway, that's one drone. We'll go ahead and take a look at the next drone. Mm. Set him off to the side. And the next drone is... I'm not going back into his... There we go. Okay, the next drone is this... I don't know what kind of dinosaur it is. I have no clue. I am not a paleontologist. I'm not an amateur paleontologist, so I don't know, but here he is. We got his claws there and these little arms, they move up or down. Got these big cannons on the back. And you can clip those uh, a lot those mech tech clips will fit on there. The bigger ones clip right on there. So yep, that that's basically that's basically him and of course his arm mode is just like that. It just flips out and it forms this big claw. That's it. So let's set him off go ahead and set him off to the side now. And next we'll come to his feet. Take them off. And you get this guy here. I'm not sure again what kind of dinosaur he is. But there is his head. So got some big guns there. Big gold shell. Their, their, their colors really evoke that of their the G1 Dinobots. That's why I like the spiky ball of death there on the end. So, you could probably still find these on, you know, on eBay or something, or Amazon or something like that, I'm sure, but... I mean, the playability of the toy is not terribly great. I mean doesn't have great articulation, his arms can spin around, you know, and the legs have a, a knee joint, you know, and it works, but they can't, once you get him balanced, you pretty much just want to leave him that way. Uh, he's kind of a shelf warmer after that. He's got a nice, you know, mini con peg right there. So most of them do have a mini con peg. This one has it on his tail. Um... This one has it on either side of the guns. See right there and right there. His is on top. I'm going to go ahead and set him off to the side. Pull up the last one. Last of the drones. And he is some sort of, um, I don't know. I don't know. Again, I'm no paleontologist. I do not know. But he's nice looking. He's got these nice big guns on his side. Pretty nice dinosaur robot dinosaur uh, mold there for his head. Again, nice bright blue eyes. Sort of claws. The arms move. So, yeah, got a mini con port right there. That's where you plug him in at. And when you plug him in, it basically folds out like this. You can see that. So. Yep, nothing all that fantastic. You got big claws on the front. So anyway, we'll set him off to the side now, and we'll get to Grimshot, Grimstone, whichever he is. I'm not sure. Um. Yeah, and this is in his combined form. And uh, if you give me a second here, I will uh, show you what his robot mode looks like. Okay, and I'm back. And here we are with Grimshot, Grimstone, whatever his name is. Uh, and he is in his uh, robot mode. And he is not a bad little robot, but he has, well, like most 
power core combiners, he has problems. We took a quick look at that face sculpt, and it's not a bad one. He's got some blue eyes in there, you can't really tell. There, you can kind of see them. He could have, I mean, they, they could have very easily done some light piping. I mean, there's the screw right there. So they could very easily have done some light piping. Among his other problems is his, well, as you can see, because of all that kibble on his back, his articulation is hampered. So, I mean, that's, that's, one way you can definitely solve it is if you mistransform it, you pull down the tail, allows you to put those arms back even further, and then you can get a little bit more better articulation in the arms, but then you'll have him mistransform and he's got all that going on in his backpack. So, but that that is that is him in his uh, robot mode, and he can hold most five millimeter port weapons in in his hands there. So, but uh, yeah, I mean, he's not a bad little robot. Again, he, he evokes the uh, uh, the G1 aspects of the Dinobots with his colors there. He's got some orange going on right there. The hip. You know, just below the thigh, you got this black, some gray, some silver. So that like reverse high heels going on here with his feet. As you can see, you've got the long part here and then the heel right there, which you know, and he stands like that. So yeah, and you got some uh, more blues and silvers, and you got this gold going on right here along the spikes. So, silver on his guns up front, and uh, yeah, so to transform, basically you want to tilt his head back, pull up this entire Dinobot head here, put it, put it right like that against the head, and you want to take this entire assembly, straighten out the arms, and bring it up, just like that, and there's, it'll clip in right there. Just like so. Same thing on this other side. Bring it up. And then it'll clip all together. Just like that. Just like that. You want to bring these legs down. And fold them down again. And this whole assembly right here. The power core will flip in like that. Same with the other side. Flip down. Flip down, straighten it up, turn this inside so it's all like that. And take feet, go like this, flip up the tail, and it'll clip in. There's a little clip right there that'll go in right in a slot right there, just like so. And you want to take the feet, turn them around like this. Same with the other side. Turn it around. You're going to take these little red pieces. Push. Oops. I'm sorry. You're going to want to fold this all the way up. Then pull the feet out. And then this red part will fold in right there. Like so. On mine, uh, it's a little stiff. So... There we go. Just like that. Straighten this all out. Set him down. Take the guns, fold them in. There we go. And there he is in his Triceratops mode. Kind of looks like a Triceratops. He's got, you know, three horns. One there, two up here. So, he, so yeah. Gold head, orange there for the horns, some gold going on here. All this is silver. Oh, that's a nice red coming through there. 
So he's got his uh, Minicon peg right there on his tail. So yeah. And that's pretty much all there is to say about this. Transformers uh, combiner, uh, power core combiners. Let's start that over again. <laughs> Transformers power core combiners Grimstone or Grimshot, whichever one it is. And I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments. That's that's a thing that's it's a thing that people do so there you go anyway thank you and come again